Hey guys, welcome back to Predatory Fins. We're here, another day, another video. Oh, we hope that you guys are safe and sound in your homes, uh, in quarantine. You know, hopefully this will go pretty fast and we can go back to our normal lives, right? Uh, we haven't been going to the gym, as you can tell. I uh, gained a couple pounds. Not really happy with this quarantine, but we did spend the whole day here and we moved a lot of fish around. We did a lot of work. We got some monsters in this tank right here that I'm gonna show you next video. We're actually doing, uh, oh, somebody's here right now, nine o'clock at night. Anyways, we're doing a three series videos. Where do you call it? What do you wanna call it? It's a three part quarantine series. Three part quarantine series, okay? So number one, we're gonna show you everything we have in stock. Number two, we're gonna feed everything we have in stock. And then number three, we're gonna go feed the monsters and show you what we got in this spawn right here that it's going in that tank, it's just in quarantine right now. Whoops. And that's a monster right there. All right, so. First up. What do you wanna start? Start at the beginning. What's the beginning? That could be a beginning, this could be a beginning. Uh, okay, how about this, no. Nope. Okay, I got an idea. But I start with the most important of the day, okay? This fish right here. You guys seen it on Joe's channel. Um, I haven't had much time to film or talk about it, but this is probably one of the rarest, let me shut these lights off so you can see it better. One of the rarest fish in the world, okay? As far as a peacock, probably the rarest I ever seen, and it's right here in our location. Also, it's a female, so why not try to breed this baby? That's what we're gonna do. I'm actually gonna move all these fish out of the stink and leave it for her so she can try to breed, hopefully right there on that rock, and we can have some leucistic babies. Um, if it's not the first time, like her babies might not have, but they have the genes, so we cross them back with the mom. Sounds kind of weird, but then all of them should be white or 75% white. What was that? I've been hearing sounds lately. So we are moving the fish to this tank. We we'll just move it around, put a little, couple of little fish there already. Um, it's already cycled because we use media for all the tanks. But because of that, oh no. Oh no. There's a fish <laughs> on the floor. Oh, oh God, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a flat on my leg. Woo! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Order of business is to get a lid. Hold on, I have okay. slime all over my. Okay, well. Let's I can't believe this fish jumped. It's an invisible guy, actually. What, orange. What is it? It's a mill. It's a tinfoil barb. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I, it was a rescue, and I said, let me keep him because I think it looks cool. So I put them over here, but I, I would never think they would jump. Well, they do jump. And he almost stepped on the damn thing. <laughs> oh God, that woke me up. So because of um, the whole breeding idea that we had, actually a friend of mine named John was like, bro, you should breed that thing. We were debating if we should make this room a breeding facility for rare species. Okay, like the orange gar, the white peacock, uh, or like more rare species of peacocks, like the brocopondo that I got and we couldn't keep it in stock because they sold out. So we're debating, the floors are coming this week. We're gonna get some tile floors in here. And we're debating to either do a storefront or a gift shop, like, yeah, or a breeding facility. I think I'm leaning more towards the breeding facility. I just think it's... Yeah, I mean, let us, let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think? We should sell hats, t-shirts, shoes, and girls? And what? Um, girl shirts? Yes, girls and or, shirts, yes. Or do the breeding facility. I go for the breeding facility. I don't want to get in trouble. All right. You ready? Yeah. All right, so <laughs> let's start over here. We don't have many left, but we do have the short body uh, cowberries, and the ones that are not short body, they're at the menses. Okay, right here, look at this. You can see it really good. We have the sunshine plecos. We got two little guys there. They're about four inches. Ooh. There you go. It focuses on the small You went to school for a camera lady, so. Nope. Huh. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, we got a nice Geophagus. That, I like that one better. My favorite one. What, what type is that, babe? A gold stripe. Gold stripe? Mm. I don't know. All right. That looks like a blue stripe to me. But we still have some stingrays. Look at these. The patterns on these guys are amazing. We got a couple little guys in there on this side as well. Um, obviously, Kevin has more in stock, but we have a few over here. We still got a couple blue-eyed panakas. Those are uh, wild caught from Suriname, the angelfish. Uh, look at this, how beautiful this black hair one is. Look at the red on the fins. Let me, let me get close to it. Here. Beautiful fish. This one is already sold, but we can always get more. And All right. Last but not least. Oh yeah, we're, how, we have only. Very few. We only have one left. Oh, that's the last guy. Yeah. We only have one albino or one left. It's about five, six. Oh. Actually, more like six inches. Let's go this way. I want to go this way. I'm not selling him. You want to, you want to show him? I don't like to show what I'm not selling, because then... He's pretty cool, though. You can you see it or no? I can see his butt. Yeah, guys, on the comments below... What do you think this fish is? That's yeah. the butt. Yeah, just, just by the tail. Let me know what you think this fish is. But it's okay. one of my favorite cats, and they take forever to grow. All right, so let's go back this way. None of these fish are for sale. Right here, let me turn the, back, the light back on. So what we're trying to do, we separate it. I want to try to keep all the bigger fish over here, the smaller fish over there. So people with bigger tanks, they already know what to go for. Uh, over here we have a 11 to 12 inch driftwood cat. Okay, and we're not putting the prices on these guys. Just make me an offer or I want to make sure that you have the right proper tank for some of these fish, like the platinum red tail. This guy right here is about 15 to 16 inches. We have that wild caught bullfin that's already treated, ready to go, eating frozen foods. Where's his face? There we go. He's, already, he's pretty good too. He's about 14 inches. Now over here we have one of the monsters. We have a tiger shovel nose. And this guy is about, okay. he's about 20, 22 inches. But again, I want to make sure that whoever's getting them have the proper tank to house and take care of them. And the reason why we're letting them go is because we have a lot of fish in our mega tank and our round tank. I don't know if everybody knows here, but we're doing a shark tank, a saltwater shark tank with a lot of crazy fish, but that's for another day. Over here, we have a bigger tiger shovel nose. His fins got a little messed up when we're trying to move him, but that should heal no problem. This one is about 24 inches, 24 to 26. He's doing pretty good as well. Um, over here we have a really nice Tamensis, but it's already sold as well. That guy right there. We're trying to get more in stock. We rescued this uh, largemouth bass from one of our customers. You know, we don't encourage people to put their fish back in the, in the wild. So he just asked if we could sell it for him. That guy's for sale, just make an offer. Uh, we got to ship him outside of state. Okay, that white tiger shovel nose is sold. It's a lot of sold fish here, buddy. Now, let me get something real quick. Super dark. If you, yeah, well, let me help you out because I'm so tall, you know? Yeah. Can you see better now? Yeah. So, a friend of ours caught that fish and it's a beautiful bowfin. She was full of worms. I treated her. She's healing up very good. Um, one of the fish that was in the same pond as her, I guess, was beating her up really bad. She's just not started eating frozen, um, doing very well. But today, today, she puked this. Look at this. Ew. How crazy is this? You're touching it. This is a lure that has been in her stomach for oh, God yeah. knows how long, and she was able to puke it out today. I'm not making this up. Look at it. It smells so, terrible. It does it? I, I didn't try yeah, to like, like smell it. Past old plastic. Old pasta? Plastic. I, oh, I like old pasta. With rubber plastic nasty. Uh, but I'm glad that she puked that out because she, since she's been puking, well, I mean, since she puked it out, she started moving a lot more. She started like being more active. So I think she's going to be just fine. But she's not ready yet. She's going to be ready in probably a week or so. Let me heal her up. We got a lot of medicine. 
a lot of treatments going on. Now, in this tank right here, we do have, and guys, bear with us, we ordered already uh, our lids, but because of the whole coronavirus, everything's taking longer. We have a black devil cat down there. It's about 12, 13 inches. Really cool. I put them in here with these guys, and so far they've been great. They've not been, they haven't been fighting. That's a very aggressive fish, so you gotta watch it. Just keeping a close eye on him if you put any other fish in the tank. Over here is a nice 12 inch Wallago cat. He's eating really good. I love this fish. I actually have a really uh, big one over there. Now, the story with the speedcock right here. The speedcock was caught on the same lake that the white peacock came out of. So we're hoping that this guy carries the genes as well and makes our life a lot easier on the breeding process. So he's in uh, quarantine, like everything's in this tank. Thank Hopefully you. soon, well, right in a week, I'm gonna go ahead and move all those fish out and let him make their love. Like Romeo and Juliet, you know? Like what? Romeo and Juliet? Oh, okay. I said Romeo. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> I know, you're trying to get me. Uh, we just got this guy today. Today, this is a really big jowl catfish. Probably the same size as the one I have already in my tank. I, I, yeah, this, these acrylic tanks are a little scratched, so it's hard to see. But really cool fish. I'm not selling him. I'm just quarantining him for a little bit. Now, this guy right here, if you have a pond, this is a great fish to have. Really pretty as well. These, look at the size of this dorsal fin. See it? Yeah. Look at that. This is called Indian Tiger Shovel Nose. Really cool fish. This guy's about a little short. Uh, I would say 30 inches, 32 inches. I was gonna say shorter, shorter than three feet. By the way, guys, thank you for correcting me on the 85 centimeters on the last video. I only got corrected like 300 <laughs> times. But you gotta understand, like, I appreciate it, but you have to understand, I have so much in my head. So like sometimes I might think like between three to four feet, and I just say something else. Inches, feet. Yeah. But it's okay. I like to be corrected when I'm wrong. Because I correct. Yeah, I do. Not by me. Babe, when do you ever correct me the right way? Like, when you correct me, you're wrong. So, like, it doesn't count. All right. This beast right here. This is one of my fishes, actually. I had him in the big tank. And uh, because I'm moving some of the fish out, look how healthy he is. You see it? When you see the spikes coming out like that and start coming out, yeah, he's doing really good. Doing but well. this is doing really well, sorry. But this guy right here, he's a pooper. He poops a lot. Like, as you can see, we just cleaned the tank today. And he was munching on the driftwood over here. You know, I show you some cucumbers as well. But he's gonna be for sale also. Uh, we're gonna have a price tag on him on the website, but I wanna make sure he goes to a good home. Someone that can house him. The little guy. The little guy is for sale too. That's the husband and wife right there. You can call the big one Harad and the little one Lisa. <laughs> there you go. Now over here we have Florida Gars. These guys are about, a little dark in there, huh? They're about 20 lucky. inches. Yeah, that's why I wanna leave it in the dark, cause like, what I like about these fish is they have a really light coloration to them. They're not like a dark um, garfish. In this tank right here, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. You might need the ladder. I might need you. Can you see it? That's a long nose gar. This guy is awesome. All right guys, so right now we're gonna show you all the types of fish that we brought in stock right now. We're gonna be doing a different variety because a lot of fish, a lot of people cannot house larger fish. So we got these guys in and we're shipping them in today. Look how pretty that is. You know what that is, babe? It's an African cichlid. But which side? Let me try to try them inside this. Really pretty. Look how beautiful that is. It's got nice orange and blue colors. So they're gonna be shipped today. This one's really pretty as well. See the nice orange. There's a big one right here, it's a deep blue. There's a couple that we are um, trying to get. We, we want to get like to that size or bigger. This guy right here is about six inches, look at him. Is that one sold? Yeah, no. Oh, no? No. 
Aww. Hey, if you want little baby blue, let me know. It's on the website. All right, which one do I have to get right now? The, um, the electric blue. This guy? Oh, yeah, do you? The yellow blue. This guy. You sure? No. All right. I have no clue about none of these fish, but they're pretty cool. Like, if you want to, like, more a color tank, I guess African cichlids is the way to go for sure. Still, my favorites are the monsters, but look at how nice it is. This guy is. Look at the blue. A very deep blue when the light hits. You can see a lot better. What's the other one? The other one is. This one? No, that. Um, this one here. The one in the middle. That this one. guy, yep. What is that, you know? Fenestris. Fenestris. I don't know. I have to look it up. I don't remember. I'm going to way into the. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, it's one out the tank. Yep. Nobody. These guys are all sold, but we're trying to get into African cichlids around this size. Look how beautiful that is. Really pretty colors. And that's what we're gonna work on. All right guys, so we're gonna show you some fish that we're shipping and also some fish that are in stock. Right, guys, let me just show you real quick. We had this beautiful guy right here, but we're gonna actually be shipping him out today. That's a nice MBU buffer. He's about seven inches and he's gonna be going to his new home today. So let's go ahead and pack. I just wanted to show you how nice he was. Come on, buddy. Look. It's probably gonna puff up a little bit, so watch out. Oh, no, he didn't puff up. That's good. Go ahead, buddy. Look at those patterns. Yeah, he looks pretty cool. He's beautiful. All right, so buddy. Home, buddy, enjoy your new home. Don't get no coronavirus.